Hey guys, Edward here from Bricks Maven. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the uh, the Alpha library on the Bricks, Bricks, Bricks Maven website to copy and paste blocks in the editor. It is super, super easy and it might be a different, it, it is totally different workflow than when working in the editor and only using the remote template. But uh, some like using the remote template and some like using the alpha library and uh, but whatever what, whatever your choice is it's up to you whatever workflow you like better the choice is up to you we have made it possible for you to use the remote template or use the library so without further ado let's jump in and let me show you guys how to use it so first things first let's open up the editor here we are and the next step is to well make sure you're logged in into your account and then you just go to the library by pressing the alpha library once you're on the library you can see all the blocks and here on the side you have the filters these are all the sections or sections or blocks and at the moment not all sections uh, have uh, a CSS blocks but all sections at the moment have CSS blocks um, we are currently um, at 210 blocks for ACSS so we're almost 40 blocks shy of catching up to the CSS version uh, so we're almost there so the, so in this case there are like four categories that do not have or four sections or blocks that do not have the ACSS version yet and then as you can see we also have components and here we have extra um, filters which might come in handy if you're looking for specific let's say you're looking you are um, I'm just directly going into and explaining how to use the, the library because um, we can of course choose um, let me just give an example let's say we have the grids and cards and from the visual images you can see this is this is two columns this is three columns this is four columns three columns four columns etc etc so let's say you were looking for a, a a section with four columns right and you can just go down here say four columns and then now to show you the, the sections that have four columns and you can choose okay i want one this one has images and a call to action whatever whatever you want and you can just uh, copy it as you see you get the visual uh, it communicates back to you you see copied you go back to the builder and you just basically press ctrl V and there it gets pasted for you there you have it and we can continue we could say um, I think I want I think I want a uh, let's just put up a hero section different hero section that we just have right now let's say this one go back to the builder and just paste it in oh wait let's put it up seems it seems to have not That's weird it's not showing the image but anyways you see how it's pulling the blocks into the editor and that's basically how you use the uh, the library it's pretty pretty easy to use I would say the the advantage that you have with the library is just pure the filtering the filtering options that you have which you don't have with the uh, remote template so you might you might specifically want a, a block that has images images in it, or if if we're not using the filters at all and just going off this, let's say I need something with five columns. And then, okay, in this case there are only filters. Let's go with three columns. Right. And there it gives the three columns options. So basically, um, 
you have just some extra filter options that help you search what you're looking for faster and some might like copying blocks from the uh, from the browser and some might like working in the editor using the remote template um, but the, the the I could say the positive thing about the, the library is you can it gives you the option to not use uh, the remote template or you could use a different remote template and also and keep on using the uh, uh, alpha library if you get what I am trying to say so there are other um, there are other products out there that also give you access to the remote template you could add that to your remote template and then you could copy the blocks from the browser and paste it in the editor so it gives you more options for more blocks so uh, yeah it's, uh, it's, it's a benefit to you use it and decide which one you like you like to use working with a remote template in the editor or you like using the browser to copy paste blocks but anyways all in all that is how the alpha library works uh, I hope it was clear I hope everything was understandable and valuable um, let me know if you have any questions uh, send us an email and we'll, we'll help you as soon as possible. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.